Well, welcome back to my craziness. I found this on Marketplace, okay? It's an AM FM radio with a turntable. And it's an AM FM radio. All it does right now is hum. And I'll show you that in a second, but I'm going to take it all apart and see what's the issue. The first thing I'm going to do is try this turntable using another receiver. Looks like the stylus is there. This is a three-speed Crosley from Webcore, whoever they are. I think they're part of Crosley. Anyway, it's a 1948. Did I say that? It's model 9202M. Now the issues with this, besides the humming, is the speaker's got a hole in it. Okay, here's the tag for it. Okay. And the speaker, I don't know if you can see it, I'll try to show it to you here. It's got holes in it somewhere. Oh, there's one. And there's more at the bottom. There you go. Yep, that's the issue. So, I do have... This is, this is a permanent magnet speaker. And I do have some speakers over here. You can see right in the center of the picture. Okay, they're bigger, but they'll fit in here. I'll just have to reconfigure the, uh, the plywood here. I am going to change those ruffles and green speaker grill or if you can call that green I'm not sure what color that is aqua maybe I don't know anyway so right now what I'm gonna do is set this up with uh, an external um, amplifier and speaker and see if we can get the turntable to work and put a record excuse me put a record on there all right, so let me get it all set up, and we'll try it. All right, let me show you the humming. I don't like to do this, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. It's pretty loud. Yeah. And actually, you can actually hear channels. Hmm. Never mind. Um, yeah, i got to fix it. So it does hum. So let's get to work on that uh, record player. Okay, I did have to clean it a little bit. The uh, rubber idler underneath was pretty dirty and it wasn't turning. But now it does turn. So what I did is I brought out my little amplifier from Radio Shack that still works. I'm going to turn it on. I had to uh, ground it because it was humming. So let's go ahead and put this on here. I'm hoping there's no copyright issue. But it does work. I think it needs a new needle. All right, here we go. it up and put the tone on tone arm back it shuts off pretty nice huh um, on 33 and a third and 45 rpm it's a little slow so I still have to do some work getting everything cleaned and oiled and it should be back to normal I hope so anyway right now this is part one and as soon as I get this receiver apart to find out what its issue is and I'm assuming it's capacitors um, if I can get that puppy working change out the speaker and the speaker grills and this is the speaker right here this is just a storage compartment for records I guess but it's an easy change for that speaker grill I don't know who did this why they did this why why but 
this is what it is. It is what it is. Again, a record player works. Now I just got to get this guy working. Clean this guy. And uh, we'll do part two, maybe a little while before I get to it. And then uh, we'll see if I can get it to stop humming like it does. It's really bad. So I didn't want to leave it on too long. All right, thanks for watching. And be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you can see what I do with it when I'm all done. I'm probably going to redo the cabinet because it's worth it, I think. It's 1948. And it's in pretty good shape. It really is in good shape. Just needs to be sanded down and restained. Not restained, but revarnished or whatever. So, yeah, I can make this thing look pretty good and sound pretty good. I don't know. It might be a keeper, too. I don't know. Depends how uh, good it sounds when I put this big old speaker.